Hello, I'm Howard Marks. Ever since the events of August in China and the resulting market drop, I've had a hard time not going back to one of the oldest cartoons in my file and still one of the best. It shows a TV newscaster who says, everything that was good for the market yesterday was bad for it today. It perfectly captures the swing between optimism and pessimism, one of the key reasons that occasionally necessitates the market's trip to the shrink's couch. If you've read my early memos, you know I've been talking about the concept of the investment pendulum for nearly 25 years as a way to understand the swings in investor psychology. In good times, investors tend to ignore the negatives and interpret all events positively. In not so good times, the reverse is true. In the real world, things generally fluctuate between pretty good and not so hot. But in the investment world, the swing may be from flawless to hopeless. The pendulum careens from one extreme to the other. It spends almost no time at the happy medium and also very little in the range of reason. In today's memo titled On the Couch, I attempt to send the markets to the psychiatrist's couch in order to gain an understanding of their behavior. I start with a description of the recent swings in the market. Then I diagnose the psychological factors that lie behind investor behavior. And finally, I offer a prescription. I hope you'll enjoy On the Couch, and I'll see you for the next memo.